You know, I'm like, I'm not like a guy's guy, I'm like a girl's guy, you know what I'm talking about? Like I have like male nurse energy, you know what I mean? Like I like girls just like trust me like to talk to me about their boyfriends while I'm trying to be their boyfriend. You know, it's like weird. Like I'm the type of guy that like like eats ahi tuna salads, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like I fucking like I wear fucking eye back pouches and shit just to, like yeah, dude, eye back pouches for sure. Uh yeah, I, I, like I'm the type of guy that doesn't like beer. Like, and, and guys always judge me for that shit. Like, who? Oh shit! Fuck him! Fuck you! Like, I'm your friend. It's all good, dude. I can still be friends with you. All right? It's all good. Uh, are you drinking beer, bro? Okay. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you drinking, dude? I mean, I fuck with beer. Okay, good. Solid. But do you fuck with like? What are you drinking right now? You're not drinking anything. Cool. That's your problem. So just like, come on. Anybody drinking beer or anything at all? Yeah. 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 Cool, 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 sir. Raise your fucking finger. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. What are you drinking, bro? Some shit. Some shit. That's why I don't like beer, because it's some shit, dude. <laughs> fucking beer's trash, dude. I'm sorry. It's just trash. Like, I'm more of like a fruity drink guy myself. Like, I like sugar on my rim. You know what I'm talking about? I do. Chill, dude. Yeah, I do. I do. Like, I, you can't put sugar on a fucking, like, beer. You know, I, I'd much rather have a fucking like fruity drink that like, it's just gonna make me feel good. I might have diabetes later, but at least I feel good at the moment. You know what I'm talking about? Just, it's, it's just better. It's a better tasting thing. And if I'm with my friends, like if I'm with, I'm with my guy friends, they're like judging me. They're like getting like, oh yeah, I'll have a pale ale. Yeah, I'll have a Corona. And I'm over there like, oh, I'll have a mango beach dream with extra sugar on the rim on the rocks. Like a real man, you know? Like I'm confident about my shit. And if I'm around my girlfriends, I'm just like, let me have what she's having. You know, like same shit. I don't really care. Oh, uh, it's true, dude. Like, I, and look, seriously, dude, this guy's like, oh, whatever, dude, you're gay or whatever, because you like fruity drinks. Dude, it's not gay at all, okay? It's not fruity to like fruity drinks, even though it's like weak. It sounds like it is, but it's not, okay? Seriously, it's not gay to like fruity drinks, all right? I'm just saying, I'd much rather suck a dick for a passion for margarita than a fucking IPA. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Shit. It's not, it's not gay. It's just like, it's, I'd much rather do that. If I'm doing it for something, you suck dick for the right reasons, okay, ladies and gentlemen? You suck dick for the right reasons, and you suck dick for passion for margaritas, because that's the right reason. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. No, you don't. Sure, dude, for sure. You're drinking fucking Bartonuro, the sweetest fucking wine we have. That's what I fuck with here, for sure, dude. It's true. Prosecco, yeah, cool. It's not drinking any either way. Que rico in there, dude. For sure. No, but it's true. Our parents taught us to suck it for the right reasons. My parents are so sweet. My parents raised me. My parents named me Carlos Alberto Hernandez Rodriguez. Like if I was gonna be like a novella star, you know, or some bullshit. And I'm not like a novella star doesn't look like this. You know what I mean? They don't look like if a fucking Pokemon evolution happened and like on one end is like a skinny Jonah Hill and the other end is a fat Jonah Hill and like the fucking Carmelian right in the middle. The less than no one. That's what I am. Thanks for watching Pokemon, guys. Uh, the mom's over here, there. I, I have to explain it to them. Yeah. But I am, dude. I'm, I'm Hispanic. Anybody Hispanic here? Yeah. Too many, of course. We're far away. What the fuck are we talking about? We come fast, yeah. baby. Yeah, dude. Are you Hispanic? Uh, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. We covered packs, baby. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, sometimes more packs than others. Sure, sir. Uh, where are you from? Where's your little bit from? Puerto Rican, Dominican, shout out, dude. Boricua, and Dominicano, que bien, papa. Dude, nice, solid, cool. So, in Dominican, Puerto Rico, every time, like, you guys are really close with each other, right? Like, you guys are just, like, a little too close? No? Then you're not a real Dominican or Puerto Rican, you know? No. Like, for example, do you ever kiss your dad on the cheek and whisper no homo afterwards? You no, know, right? It's like, it's... It's totally okay to like kiss your dad on the cheek, dude. I kiss my dad on the cheek way more than I should. You know, like I kiss my dad on the cheek all the time. I kiss my grandpa on the cheek all the time. I even kiss my best friend on the cheek sometimes if I'm feeling like real loving or it's Christmas. And dude, <laughs> seriously. But you suck your uncle's dick one time, dude, and you're uninvited from Thanksgiving, you know? Like your tia's like, you can't come to Thanksgiving. I'm like, dude, it's fine, but seriously. Nah, I, I would never suck my uncle's dick. He likes beer, so it's fucking weird. <laughs> Seriously. But yeah, look, if you didn't like those two dick jokes back to back, strap on. All right, ladies and gentlemen. There's like 10 other fucking guys and you don't know what you're into. Uh, yeah, bro, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yo, uh, 
Talking about things that don't belong in your mouth. Who fucks with paper straws, ladies and gentlemen? Oh. Fuck paper straws, okay? I agree. I'm tired of this shit. Thank you, Puerto Rican, Dominican, fake, whatever the fuck you are. Dude, seriously, I don't fuck with these paper straw bullshit. It's, it's enough, enough already. Seriously, shout out to, pay up, shout out to plastic straws, yes? Yes. yes? yes, let me hear for plastic straws, yes, 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 for sure. Right? Paper straws are just not, like, they're not something that's useful, dude. Paper does not belong on water. We know this. It's the truth. It's just the way it is. Seriously, plastic, that shit fucking dissolves from your cup faster than the turtles are dying. Dude, hashtag save the paper straws at this point. It's bullshit. What the fuck are we doing? They're dissolving this shit like it's quick. It's quick. This shit's just going. You put that shit through your straw, oh, what? You're drinking the straw now, too. It's ridiculous, dude. Fucking dumb. And we're only doing this because like the one turtle decided to be like a rebel teenager that listened to Green Day and put that shit through her nose and died or whatever. It's just one turtle, all right? One turtle. It's okay, guys. I'm not Republican or anything. It's one turtle, all right? One turtle that died because it was being an idiot. Like this turtle was being an idiot and we're just judging the shit from the most idiot one. It's like if we were judging all toddlers from the one that jumped into Harambe's cage. You know what I'm talking about? Or if we were judging fucking Puerto Rican and Dominicans because of fucking this guy. You know, you don't judge. You don't judge from the most fucking dumb one. You just don't. And we're only doing this because fucking turtles are cute, right? Turtles are cute, shout out to turtles, of course. I like turtles, they're cool. But if these fucking things were affecting ugly motherfuckers like iguanas, no one would give a fuck. All right, Miami-Dade County literally, let's just put a fucking cap through these shits. Like it's nothing now. If we shoot the straw through it and fucking sip that plastic straw, we wouldn't give a fuck, seriously. It's true. They want us to fucking, by the way, we're still using plastic cups. You know, the thing you're putting the straw through, plastic cups, the thing that's five times as much plastic as the straw. It's fucking ridiculous. Like what's next? What's next? What am I supposed to do? Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fucking start wearing a paper bathing suit. A paper bathing suit when I'm at the beach. I'm gonna fucking be swimming, you know? And whenever the lifeguard's like, sir, your penis is out, I'm gonna be like, it's for the turtles. Don't even fucking worry about it. You know, it's for the turtles. It's all good. For sure, dude. dude and I don't want you guys to think I'm like mad or I'm like an angry guy or anything. Like, it's, it's, I'm, just, I'm just me. I'm just Hispanic is the way it is. I'm just Sagittarius. Thank you, my friend, for knowing me way too well. Um, but, I, dude, I get mad all the time. And the other day, I got mad. And I'll ask you a quick question. I'm gonna leave you with this. Um, what is the worst customer service of all time? Everybody on three. Worst customer service of all time? One, two, three. Me! You, what the fuck? <laughs> you are, you do. You're the worst customer service. But the company, sir, what is the worst customer service company of all time? Three, two. Comcast, yes, dude, fuck yeah. I'm not calling you Xfinity, Bird Eyes. I'm calling you Bird Eyes, not Macy's, fucking CVS. I'm calling you fucking Eckert. You know what I'm talking about? Comcast, whatever the fuck they're called. Comcast is the worst customer service of all time. The other day, I was trying to fix my internet. Seriously, was on the phone with these people for three hours straight, dude. Three hours straight. I went through the fucking robots. I went through the whole country of India. I went through fucking Jasheen, Prashant, Michael, you know, or whatever, till I got to Rashid. And with Rashid, everything was good. Everything was dandy. I was able to get my shit straight. I was putting IP addresses, etc. Cables were going the right place. Perfect. My shit was up and running. Finally, I was able to watch porn again. Portlandia again. It was good. It was great, you know? And at the end of the call, I was so thankful that I was like, Rashid, listen, thank you so much for everything. You've been incredibly helpful. Love you. And out of nowhere, I was like, what the fuck did I just tell this guy? Love you, I don't even know him. He's on the other side of the world. Without skipping a beat in 10 seconds, all I hear back is, no problem, Mr. Hernandez, he's okay. I love you too. <laughs> Dude, what do you do in that situation? What the fuck can you possibly do? You know, it's just a weird situation. I felt so awkward. Anyway, me and Rashid are going on five month anniversary next week, ladies and gentlemen. I fucking love the guy, longest relationship, shout out. And it's not gay, okay? It's not gay. Ladies and gentlemen, that was my time. My name is Carlos Hernandez. Give it up for the show.